Business Disability Forum Technology Task Force, Accessibility Maturity Model, AMM, From Zero to Hero in Just 10 Steps. AMM, The What, The Why and The How. Hi everyone, um, my name is Sarah John uh, and I'm a Technology Accessibility Consultant at RBS and we also have David here. Hi David. Hey Sarah. Uh, my name is David. I'm a senior digital accessibility consultant working at Barclays and today we're going to be talking about the accessibility maturity model. So Sarah, what is it? Ah, so the accessibility maturity model, also known as the AMM, uh, is basically a matrix scorecard for helping organisations of any size see how they're performing against um, 10 commitments in terms of te accessible technology. So it works alongside something called the um, Technology Accessibility Charter. Um, those, that charter is those 10 commitments and um, basically the AMM uh, is a scorecard to measure how you're performing against those, those 10 commitments. Um, I find it really useful. Um, but David, what, what is it that you like about the AMM? Why do you find it so good? Well, firstly, it's free and, you know, you know, as well as I do that I love a freebie. So that's that's a, a great starting point um, that you don't have. There's no barrier to entry. Um, secondly, it's super simple to use once you've uh, gone through it the first time. Uh, it's quite easy to repeat and it's similar to other benchmarking frameworks out there. So uh, technologists should be quite used to, to, to the approach. And then lastly, it provides um, some tangible output. So it's really clear about how you can move between the different stages and gives you almost like a to-do list for, for uh, things to do afterwards. But what about you, Sarah? What do you like about it? Um, I found it really useful um, at RBS. Um, as you said, it's, it's a benchmark against your peers. But what I found most useful was it enabled me to talk a common language with my leaders. So um, I could see where I needed to move from one point to another and come up with a plan. Um, and then we could work together to understand what resources we needed to help us move uh, up points along that plan. Um, and it enabled me to prioritize. Um, so what I liked about it is that you can set your own pace. You don't have to improve on every single point. Um, you can prioritize and maybe take one or two charter points where you want to improve on and prioritize it against your, your business strategy and where your business wants to, to exceed. Um, so I found it incredibly useful for me. Fantastic. I think what's also nice is that there's a best practice guide that goes along with it, that if you're doing this for the first time, it gives you some ideas about the approach that you can take uh, based on the way other organizations use the model. Um, and actually the core recommendation I suppose that we both would have is just to get going, just to try it out and see how, see how it goes. And if you have any feedback, then let us know. Um, but I think that's everything, right, Sarah? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd get a, echo what you're saying. Go and try it. Just mark yourself on, give yourself a score uh, and see where you get to. Great. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you, David. Bye now. Bye. Business Disability Forum Technology Task Force. With thanks to David Caldwell from Barclays, Sarah John from RBS, made possible by Assistive Technology and Workplace Adjustment Partners, Microlink.